Hey guys, Ranger Collector 62492 here with another review, and today we're going to be looking at the Legacy Dragon Dagger. That's right, the long awaited Legacy Dragon Dagger and the soon to come Legacy Dragon Zord. This year is sure to be a Green Ranger and White Ranger overload. Let's just say Tommy is getting a lot of uh, respect this year. So, uh, with the 20th anniversary came like the Legacy Megazord and the Morphers and we figured that they wouldn't do anything afterwards. Well, here we go. They're releasing the Dragon Dagger, the Green White Ranger Morpher, and uh, Dragon Zord and then recently announced uh, Legacy Titanus to complete basically your first wave of some of the toys that you got from 1993. And this is pretty, uh, this is a pretty amazing piece. So, anyway, on a side note, uh, when you, um, pre-order Toys R Us, uh, from Toys R Us, I just want to put this out there because a lot of my friends have had this problem as well as myself. When you pre-order from Toys R Us, the problem with Toys R Us is when they have an item on their website, you're never guaranteed to get it. Uh, reason being is they either remove it from their, their website or their database from the website, meaning as of right now, this is their third time that they've removed the listing off their website. Uh, the um, second thing is when a few of my friends have had their orders canceled out of no reason, including mine. Uh, this only happened to me once, which was recent. Um, so the first order, I canceled it because there's a lot of word going around that it was a fake. I, I don't know. It was really weird and really screwy. Toys R Us is really loose with their information. I caution you, if you order it from Toys R Us, be prepared to either be disappointed or, you know, just give up. <laughs> but I went to Amazon to purchase mine and I paid like $30 more for it, which I didn't think that was that bad. Uh, I paid... 108 which is uh yeah i think it was a pretty decent price it was brand new but of course i ruined it by opening it but that was basically just to review it for you guys so anyway we're gonna look at the box real quick so the front here you have uh it says legacy dragon dagger with the foil and then the window box showing that it says legacy dragon dagger uh it says 24 karat gold plated and then it says classic theme song, all that stuff there. And you got some nice pictures of the Green Ranger and the Dragon Zord on the top. You got, turn it around here, you got some nice, like, CG pictures. Like, right here, you got a CG shot of the green, red, black, blue, pink, and yellow. This is Legacy Dragon Dagger. Picture of the Legacy Dragon Dagger and the logo there. And then you got some more Green Ranger shots. Legacy Dragon Dagger. And then the logo again. And then the same on the other side. The back, it just, uh, you know, lists the information here, which uh, you guys can see was uh, in the front. Got a nice picture of the Green Ranger. And the dragon dagger itself, and then I'll kind of whoops, I'll kind of move forward so you guys can see it has a story telling about uh, the Green Ranger and his powers and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna cut out here. Let me set this up first. I'm gonna cut out, and I'm going to take the dragon dagger out. All right, guys, here it is, and holy crap, holy crap. Okay, so um. At a far away distance, I'm going to have to actually move over to my bed so I can show you guys everything. So, um, anyway, here is the Legacy Dragon Dagger. This is amazing. Um, just holding it for the first time, it is really heavy. It is really, really heavy. And I'm going to try to get up on camera to show you in detail. But yeah, it is really heavy. So this is it right here. And um, the gold plating 
it it shines really nice. Um, it, it's present, I think, because all the heft, whoops, all the heft comes in the handle. So uh, you have probably these buttons are 24 karat. Uh, um, the battery compartment, um, most of it's heft because the, the actual die cast, but the um, parts that are die cast are actually where the gold plating is. Like right here, the um, little tubing going around here, you guys can see. <coughs> the battery cover, like I said, the buttons, but the handle. Uh, it feels like the whole handle right here is all uh, die cast. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that's pretty cool. Now, a lot of people have mentioned that uh, the sounds that are claimed to be show accurate, um, it is not true. Uh, I really don't know. I have watched some reviews and I've seen the differences between the 93 version and this one. I think this one sounds better, better obviously, so um, I really wouldn't be complaining. There's uh, really no, um, there's really no flaws with this thing, to be honest with you. So, uh, anyway, um, very, very nice. I do like the, the shine on the, uh, the, the dragon coin there. Same on the other side, but that's where the speaker comes from. Um... But just wow, it is amazing. So I'm going to sit it down here. Um, there is an on-off switch, which is this piece. So you have the on-off switch. And I'm going to try to balance it right here. That way we can play the sounds and you guys can actually look at the dagger. So the first button, sort of a slashing noise. The second button, it's like a clinging noise. And then the third button is more of a swoosh noise. So, but, uh, yeah. Also, you push this button down, which is the, uh, the mouthpiece, uh, you activate new sounds. So the first sound you activate, which I don't know if, uh, hang on. So the first sound you activate is... Which I'm assuming that is the secondary um, sound to kind of like battle noise dragon dagger sound. And uh, the other one is the. So that would be the call of the dragon sword. And then you hold down, or no, you don't hold down. While you're holding down this, push the middle button. And you can release, and it plays the full Mighty Morphin theme. So yeah, um, everything that was um, said about Bandai and them not doing what the fans want, I think is blasphemy because if you guys remember when the, the Morpher and the Dragon, or not the Dragon, the uh, Morpher and the Megazord were released, they had a pink uh, slip that asked, how are we doing and what would you like us to do uh, in the near future? And to go on and message them what they are interested in seeing them release for the future. 
and for the 20th anniversary. Well, I'm assuming that a uh, Green White Ranger Edition Morpher, a Dragon Dagger, a Dragon Zord, and a Titanus were all entered, and they listened to every single one of us fans. And I say bravo to Bandai America. Um, and for those of you that are out of country to watch this, I understand some of you, like the UK, uh, this is kind of a, a, an issue that has been touched upon by a few people, including my friend Joe or Gold King Ranger, that the, uh, the Dragon Dagger was actually, um, released in the UK through Amazon, an exclusive, and it went for what would be $140 in our money, um, and... It was expensive. I gotta admit, that was a really big cop-out for Bandai UK um, to make money off of uh, another country. But, well, they're stationed in that country. The point is, is they're charging them more than what they could actually import from the US and get to them. But I think uh, if you are really wanting a um, Green uh, Ranger Dragon Dagger, definitely pick it up. If you can get one, go for it. If you find it, pick it up. It's $80 at retail. Um, don't pay over what I paid for. Uh, $108 is okay if you guys are going really, to be really desperate to get one. But definitely pick it up. Um, it's well worth it. So, um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And I will talk to you guys later.